Meg Thee Stallion's lawyer, Alex Firo, says on Monday, he plans to take action against bloggers who continue to spread false information. Okay? Now, this is a very interesting thing. And this is a lawyer, if you ask me, using legalese to threaten people because in this country, we have something called freedom of press. Yes, I lied to Gail King. First of all, I know that you didn't even ask me about it. We should always want to talk about this shooting. Why did you ask me about the story? That's not what this is about. Even if I fucked this nigga like once, maybe twice, on a drunk night, but you kept catching me out of my mind. She's with Gail, and she said that, uh, she said, were you intimate with Tory Lanez? And she said, uh, what? And then it's like, no. And I was like, ah, oh, she lying. <laughs> At that point, I knew she was She's lying. There wouldn't be no reason for me to be around each other. And then uh, um, from that, it felt like she was lying. The moment we let Rock Nation, and it's not about it's not about an artist, Rock Nation, any of these entities feel like if they sue a blogger or they sue a news reporter in this independent media industry and they can just shut you up, get, a, get some type of injunctive measure to make sure you don't report about whatever, because you know what I mean? These days, I said about Meg, you know, right now Meg is getting killed, but she getting killed by her own accord. Look, how y'all gonna file a lawsuit on Milagro and then the next day she put out a goddamn documentary, documentary, she in the documentary say she lied. Megan Thee Stallion, bro. She's so going crazy YouTuber right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Who's this YouTuber? Bro? So Milagro um, Grams is one of the YouTubers that was covering the case mm. when Tory Lane was going through the whole saga with um, Megan Thee Stallion with yeah. over the shooting. Yeah, she was a good voice and give different perspective. Like, yeah. and she's she's a little hottie too. On top of that, she's always keeping up with the case. So you know, if Tory trying to appeal something yeah. or like you know, what I mean, want a reversal or whatever yeah. Yeah. the situation is. Yeah. So now. Megan Thee Stallion feel like she's a mouthpiece to Tory, where she keep on saying like a bunch of allegations and stuff like that. I mean, Painting sometimes she be walling out just like every other YouTubers, right? You know what I mean? But right. like putting a narrative out there, like yep. Megan is a liar, yeah. Which is proven. Which is uh, after you drop a documentary saying there's some fish in the barrel right now. You could lie to Gil Kings, but not to the publics, and definitely not to the internet. Hey, I'm just sitting here minding my own business. People are reaching out to me saying, "Hey, Gail, Megan Thee Stallion just called you a." B well, I know you're expecting me, or maybe you're thinking I have something negative to say. I do not. I have nothing but great, great love and respect for Megan Thee Stallion, cheering her on always. Did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you, have, did you, Megan? Did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. So why do you think he's putting out the story that the two of you had a relationship and that you're making the whole thing up? I think that he is trying to deflect. He was riding that. He was a jockey. He would. He got up on that stallion. That little man got up on that stallion. He climbed the mountain mm -hmm. a couple times. That was his fall. And then she tried to. <laughs> <laughs> he fell off, bro. Too high. You climbed too high, too high bro. That was a beast. He got right kicked there. He could by not that tame that. Tory could not bro, tame that. He son got kicked. Bad. And you know what? That's why he shot her in the foot. He got kicked by that <laughs> yeah, foot in the chest. <laughs> Just like that big ass kangaroo. Bow, star. like that. Bow. And the horse kicked back like that. Bow, Went like to that, a dude. whole different multiverse. Yeah, and then he said, woke that up foot. and just shot him in the wrong multiverse. Crazy. Son. But Crazy. allegedly, I don't think Tori allegedly. shot her. But see, that's the thing. If it's real, if he really took the gun out and, in, and his intention was to really shoot her, then it's a whole different conversation. He's, he course. deserves everything he's getting. How right? we went to a whole court case <laughs> and then we have more question about yeah. if Tory really shot this chick. Yeah. This is what pisses me off even worse. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. At least prove some sort of like narrative like, yeah, he really did. Well, but no, the, no. The voice recording of him ad kind of admitting to it a little bit by apologizing. Son, that same was, thing I could tell you that Megan just lied. I know. She lied already. She could be lying about the shooting. No, but he's he was the one apologizing saying it so i'm saying it came out of his mouth so yeah. fair enough maybe the shot came out from him and him holding the gun but did he try to shoot her that's the problem maybe it was a scuffle trying to hold that's with kelsey was, like both of them is fighting like yo give me the gun they're trying accidental. to maybe she was the one that's about to do it and then he just quickly like ooh ah ah pow that's what i'm saying we're seeing in the movies we don't notice jetly jackie could be a <laughs> scuffle scuffle like that yeah, you know mean. but okay <laughs> But well, Megan, she got the documentary out. There was there was a video of, uh, of her got released about when the Tory, uh, you know, the verdict came out, and she's there about poolside with her friend, yeah, and she's crying. Oh, that's cute. And you know, you know, I, something doesn't seem genuine about this. 
I don't yeah, know. It's because people find out she's lying and stuff like that. And I think the whole Nicki Minaj beef with her too kind of like tarnish okay. her legacy. There's like a the one rep. upon each other, like you know right, what I mean? And then right. academics, you know what I mean, clowning her, which is like a lot of big voices in the media is clowning yeah. her, especially because she lied, son. If she did not lie, yeah. like you know what I and mean? Don't blame Then we'll be like, I hate that. Yeah. Don't be like, ah, you know, when he got me, he got me when I was just super smack. I hate that, girl. I hate that. Don't yeah. say that. Yeah. Unless you got Crosby'd. Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? I feel you. No, that's feel messed you. up. Now you got to do different grounds. But yeah. you drink it and you're drunk, you better be in control of your decision. Yeah, her whole relationship with Kelsey played out in there like that. People was mad at Kelsey and stuff saying like, oh, how could she do this? And then at the same time, yeah. turn on her, turn on her yeah. throughout the um, court case. But what's worse about the court case is the lawyer, Tori's ex-lawyer, son. She Yo. double-crossed him, son. <laughs> what she did was she worked with Rock Nation, allegedly. Yeah. She have a whole TV show where she have Megan Thee Stallion and all the soundtrack and everything like that based on... The name of the show is Reasonable Doubt, just like Jay-Z's first album. That was Tori Lane's lawyer at first, bro. Wow. Tori Lane gave her 300000 Wow. Five days later, she called her. It was like, yo, you know, I have to be excused to this case. I cannot take over this case. You know, I have another court case coming soon. Like, giving Tori a bad excuse. Later to find out, Tori was doing research to find out, like, she's really related related to Rock Nation, kind of like a Jay-Z's Damn, lawyer. Dude, I don't know who to blame. Can't get snaked by my attorney. <laughs> if if my attorney gonna walk in court with me and the person saying she shot me his neck and I see, I look up and I see this is a trailer. And I wanna win. I killed JT. One of my best friends called me today to tell me that she killed her husband. <laughs> Chanel needs an attorney who's in domestic violence cases. Corey Cash is one trial away from becoming a What? <laughs> you know the story, it was basically domestic violence, right? Household name. If it ain't about the money, then you know I'm gonna go with Oh, nah. Oh, nah. <laughs> nah, this is a back door. I like this. No, I don't like this, actually. This is fucked up. Yo, they back door Tory crazy. Yeah. Google search. <laughs> And figure it out, bro. Vet your lawyers. Figure bro. it out. You gotta vet your lawyer. When you're giving millions of dollars, bro, I Google. This I is Google, your life. I Google my goddamn mechanic. That I, we I'm Google giving. everything. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying. Does he have a five star? You're looking at like, reviews. You know, we, we need the reviews. You're looking bro. at numbers, statistics. Yeah, before no, you make a decision. That's, that's part of your problem. Crazy. That's why he's trying to take that whole. Yeah. You know, remember how we talked about last week? Like the yeah. judge is taking the whole case again. Yeah. 